the shotgun. Tosses to T, trying to turn the right corner. Jason on his feet. Inside the five. He's in the end zone. He high strides for six for the Spartans. 19 yards for a touchdown, folks. And the Spartans celebrate in South Bend. How about this? With five straight wins in South Bend, Michigan State is now looking forward to each of their trips to their Golden Dome away from home. Welcome to the Spartan Sports Zone, presented to you by Pontiac, the official performance vehicles of the NCAA and the Michigan State Spartans. I'm your host, Dave Ellis, from Notre Dame Stadium, where Michigan State's now won five in a row, and they are the winningest team outside of Notre Dame here in South Bend. Michigan State, the current quarterback, recovered an onside kick that clinched the game back in 2003. Drew Stanton was a little bit more involved this time. Michigan State really got rid of those demons from the Michigan game last year. An overtime thriller and one that will go down in history along with the 10-10 tie. The atmosphere in Notre Dame Stadium was as good as ever and so was the Spartan offense. On their second possession, State marched to the 20-yard line and Drew Stanton sent Matt Trannon on a seam route. Great throw over double coverage. Six points and you can make it seven with the extra. Drew would have some competition throwing the ball in this one. Brady Quinn started a career day with his first of three touchdown passes to Jeff Samarja. That answered back for the Irish. But if you want to talk about selling out for a score, how about Kellen Davis in the end zone? Somehow he held onto the ball for an 11-yard score, even after a nasty fall all but knocked him cold. Notre Dame scored 10 points in a row to take the lead before John Goss hit his first career field goal. And with time running down in the first half, MSU surged to the red zone and then the end zone, thanks to the legs of the quarterback, with a seven-point halftime lead. And to start the second half, Quinn's throw in the flat popped up in the air. Sir Darian Adams was there to corral the ball. Nothing's going to stop the bandit. A 30-yard return for his first career score. So D told us that they were going to try to try it in the second half, and he said something earlier this week about that play. It's like, it's like a similar skin to all with that play. Like, number two receiver, like, comes, skip, plays around. They run the out route, so I was so used to seeing it. Once I seen that, I was just ready and I just jumped on it. Four years ago, late in the game, Ryan Van Dyke hit Charles Rogers on a screen that became a long touchdown, and this play was awfully similar. Stanton to Trennan, who finds a gap, and if he's even, he's leaving. A 65-yard score put Michigan State up by what looked like an insurmountable 21-point lead. Uh, um, oh boy. Well, I think in the fourth quarter, we were being a little too conservative, but, uh, you know, with, with a big lead like that, you know, we're just trying to round the clock, but it almost backfired on us. So, uh, you know, once once we decided we were going to go in the attack mode, then we got things going. Somehow, Notre Dame picked themselves up off the mat and slowly pulled themselves back up the cliff as Quinn continued his record-setting day as an Irish quarterback. 60 attempts to set that mark by a long shot. 487 yards passing to smash that record and five touchdown passes in the game the last to Samarja to tie it up at 38 with 2.31 to go. In 1966 there was no overtime. In 2005 they got to settle it and the defense took it upon themselves to set the tone in the extra session. Before we went out I was like defense just pull together, stay strong, do what we got to do and we, we will be alright. Read our keys, swung to the ball, we'd be fine. That's, that's what they did. I think as a defense, we pulled together, we came together, and we just came together and played good. Thanks to three downs and negative yardage, Notre Dame had to settle for a 44-yard field goal attempt, and DJ Fitzpatrick's knuckleball wobbled home to put ND up just three. Drew Stanton took the first Michigan State offensive play of the extra session 11 yards on a keeper, and that made the Irish commit to stopping him on the next play. When that play is the option, that's trouble. Jason T got in the clear and saw no one in front of him. Did I high step? I did? Oh yeah. I didn't know I was doing that. It was just emotions running high. I didn't I didn't even know I did that. That's crazy. Sorry, I'm sorry for high stepping uh, everybody. No, you're not. That's the biggest moment of your career, isn't it? It is, it is, man. That felt so good. After being suspended last week, then coming back and uh, getting that touchdown, man, that felt so good. I can't even, words can't explain the way it felt. And that goes for the whole roster. And for that matter, Spartan fans everywhere. 44-41, Michigan State gets it done. And Notre Dame Stadium is officially Spartan country with win number five in a row there. It's just a special feeling to be able to come down here and win again. You know, this is my last time coming down here. This was personal for me. The whole week I was saying do it for the seniors, but you know, in my back of my mind, you know, I'm saying this is my last time coming down here too. 
and to do it on this stage and to show you know what Michigan State football is about, you know how we're turning things around. You know, people probably saw that score and they're like, oh, you know, Michigan State will find a way to lose it. Not this thing. Only one other school has won five straight games here at Notre Dame.